Hawthorne Composites delivers high-value, complex composites. Today, we'll be demonstrating the manufacturing process for the carbon fiber upper and lower fuselage for the Zone 5 Cleaver, a cargo launch expendable air vehicle with extended range platform. We will be showing the fabrication using the Hawthorne Composites Advantage that includes dry fiber fabrics and vacuum assisted resin transfer molding with low cost infusion grade epoxy resin. We begin with the lower fuselage. First, zero plus minus 60 degree triaxial carbon fabric from AMP technology called Kiso is cut to ply shapes using an automated table cutter. The aluminum molds being used were precisely engineered to the final part OML or outside mold line plus coefficient of thermal expansion scale factor offset. The next step is to place the carbon plies into the nose area of the fuselage mold. For this layup we need a noodle made from hand forming three pieces of carbon fiber rope into a triangular shaped noodle. This noodle will help to eliminate resin rich corners in a sharp angular step in the fuselage. Then six kiso plies are laid into the mold and finished trimmed to exact shape by hand and are held in place by a resin compatible tackifier spray. The layup is completed by adding peel ply, flow medium, a custom vacuum bag that is placed over the completed layup and sealed to the mold, and then another vacuum bag that is attached to the mold as a fail-safe to the first bag. Vacuum is then pulled inside the vacuum bags, which ensures the plies receive one atmosphere of compaction and enables vartum infusion of the epoxy resin. A proper engineered resin flow strategy and a very low overall vacuum leak rate is critical to the resultant part quality. The completed layup and mold are then transferred into an industrial oven, plumbed for infusion, and preheated to 178 degrees Fahrenheit while still under active vacuum to both preheat the mold for infusion and ensure the fabric is completely dry. Once drying is complete, the epoxy is bartom infused into the dry fiber layout. And once infusion is complete, the valves are closed and the composite part is cured using the resin manufacturer's recommendations. After the cure is complete and the mold is still at an elevated temperature, the cured composite fuselage is demolded by technicians, inspected, and then sent to the finishing area. At the finish area, the composite fuselage is manually trimmed while leaving excess material so the fuselage can be finish trimmed and drilled on a five axis machining center. Next is the upper fuselage nose. The main difference in the layup of the upper fuselage nose is that a step lip or flange is added that allows the upper and lower fuselage to be rejoined during the final assembly process. Here you can see a technician laying up the step lip of the modified upper fuselage mold. A noodle is used on this upper fuselage nose to ensure the area of the joggle joint is not resin rich. Similar to the lower fuselage, six plies of Kiso are laid up by hand using the same tackifier spray followed by peel ply, flow media, and vacuum bags. Once infusion and cure are complete, the upper fuselage is demolded and sent to the finishing area to receive the initial trimming, 
and sanding before five axis machining. Applying the Hawthorne Advantage, including the use of hand applied dry carbon fabric combined with Vardam infused epoxy resin, allowed Hawthorne composites to meet Zone 5's aggressive price and quality targets. And the final solution achieved Zone 5's expectations for reduced assembly and integration times.